That's un I mean, what the heck, man? <laughs> really? You're bending books? That's what you're doing now? Okay, so many of you may or may not be aware, I just actually found out myself in the last few days, some CGC slabs apparently lately have been bending comic books. There's an inner well, a plastic basic container inside the, uh, the shell of the slab that holds the comic books. And apparently they're bowed kind of like a banana. So I looked at a few of my, a few of my slabs and <laughs> I'm a little bit disappointed <laughs> to say the least it doesn't look good so what I've decided to do is I've got 20 slabs here I just happen to have a whole bunch of slabs I'm gonna crack soon CPR and I've got slabs going back to 05 I just want to see if we can trace back has this been an ongoing issue for a long time or is it something to do with the scandal where they had to beef up the slabs to make them more tamper proof I'm a I'm assuming that's the case. It's got something to do with the new changes to make, you know, it's maybe it's just an after effect, a negative after effect of beefing up the cases. So let's just take a look and see what we find out. Okay, so these are the 20 slabs I've got here. This first one is from uh, October of 2005, and I'm already can see that it's very hard to see inside here. Um, but I can see right now it's laying flat. Um, it's pretty obvious it's laying flat. I don't think there's any issues on this age slab, but I can tell by looking, you know, just with my eye through the edge here, that it is straight. Um, I don't see any kind of issues, um, so I don't think 2005 was an issue, so I mean we didn't expect it to be the right. And this is October 2009. Um, similar type of setup as this one, and it uh, looks perfectly flat to me. Not sure if that's going to show up, but you know, I'm going to make this video anyways, even if this is terrible footage and you guys can't see a thing, I can at least report to you what I'm seeing. Uh, but this thing looks flat in there. I'm not seeing any kind of issues. Yeah, if I'm looking here and then here at the ends, the book seems to be in the same spot. Basically, the book seems to line up perfectly with the crack right in the center of the slab or pretty close to it on both ends. So we're still good in 2009 apparently. <laughs> this is the next year, 2010. Um, we might have to just rush through these because actually that one is not sitting in there very well. I think it is definitely higher on this end. Um, I don't think, it doesn't look like it's actually bent the book, but I can see where there's a gentle curve. This here is a little bit higher than down here. It does look like the book is maybe sloped up a little bit here, but it's very, very hard to tell um, in the edge of the slab. Definitely not an obvious thing, if anything. Um, I can set that one aside, and if I, I'm going to crack this one out, so I'll be able to tell whether there's a slight bend at the top of that book. It looks like there almost is, though, just with the naked eye here. Oops. Okay, so this is 2011. Um, yeah, the slabs are still the same. This one looks good, nice and flat all the way through. Not seeing anything at all. Okay, no issues in 2000, that, at least that book in 2011. 2013 looks like they made changes to the slabs. Obviously this is probably a similar design to what they had up until recently. Let's see if we can look down the side. Okay, it's really clear on this one. I wanna say if anything, it's bent this way. The top and the bottom seem to be in about the same place and the middle seems to be up a little bit. So it definitely looks like it's bowed slightly this way. Very slightly though. So that that's definitely bowed, that one. And this is 2013. It's not perfect. Now whether it damaged the book? Yeah, it's hard to say. And it's hard to say whether it's just the plastic well that's bent slightly and whether the book's not affected. Um, once again, there's an indicator, even back in 2013, the inner wells uh, were not perfect, at least on this particular book. Yeah, that's definitely not sitting perfectly flat. Now, it's subtle. But that is definitely bowed a little bit back then. And now we're jumping ahead to 2017. 
This one, the bottom looks like, it looks like actually it's sitting kind of like this, where the bottom is high and the top is low, but I think the entire book is actually flat, from what I can tell. So the book is flat, the well is just kind of lower on top than it is on the bottom, which I have no problem with. Yeah, it looks like um, if you look carefully, the inner well is up against the end here. It looks like, it seems like they're very tight in here, which makes sense. They don't want the inner well flopping around. But if it's, if the inner well is longer than the inner uh, area of the case it's sitting, and obviously that would force you to, you know, force the inner well to be bent a little bit to fit. So it's a very tight fit in there. So yeah, whoever's putting that in there, um, yeah, if it's not done right, I could see how the books could get bent. All right, we're jumping ahead to February of 2020 now. That book is perfectly flat inside there. Very well fit in there. No issues whatsoever. Okay. And this is the same year. This is a few months later. Now, this is at the beginning of COVID, you know, so... They're receiving a, I mean, I think the hobby is increasing at this time. It's, we're hitting the boom. So let's look at the inside. I'm looking at the wrong end. Okay, the spine end. This book is perfectly flat in there. No problems at all. Yeah, it looks fine. Okay, we're moving ahead to July of 2021. Hard to see on this one for some reason. Yeah, this one is hard to see in. I'm not sure why. Um, no, I can see it. It's just harder to see for some reason. It's flat. The book is perfectly flat in there. It's just sitting weird in there, like it's a little bit high. The whole, the entire well is a little bit high for whatever reason. Okay, we're moving ahead to December of 2022. This one is not perfect. It might be a little bit lower at the top here. But it's pretty straight, like all the way along here, but then maybe bows a little bit at the top. So this one isn't 100% perfect, but it's not bad. It's hard to say though. Um, this book is, this spine is pretty beat up with defects, so it could be that the book was curved anyway. So I'll give them the benefit of the doubt on that one. So hard to say on that one. We'll have to move on to another one. Let's go jump ahead to the next year. We're gonna go to May of 2023. Um, Looking at this, the bottom, and it looks like it is kind of a banana on the bottom. Like on, yeah, this side is definitely about the same as this side, but then it bows in the middle. The middle is lower, so that book is definitely bowed a little bit that direction. Oh yeah, and it's definitely sitting. Yeah, this book is not sitting very well in this well. It's um, it's a mini little banana in here. It's it's like like this. You know, this, this is low in the middle and higher on the ends. The ends look like they're in the same spot, but the middle is just bowed down. So this one, and you can see where the inner well is up against the top here. It's not in the right spot, maybe. Or it's just kind of crammed in there a little bit. It might be more that it's crammed in there. I am not an expert on these slabs, guys, so <laughs> I'm just calling it like I see it. So definitely, in, oh, this is a little bit surprising that I'm seeing that bowing. I know this is before they the scandal and everything, I'm pretty sure, right? So this is before they beefed up the slabs. So we're already seeing Boeing in mid-2023. So, you know, I mean, small sample size here, but that's leading me to think that maybe this, maybe the issue got worse, but it was still an issue even before. It's the same issue on this one, but it's very, very subtle. Very, very subtly low in the middle here. This is actually in the acceptable range, I would say. I don't even want to say the book is even bent, but the inner well definitely is a little bit. There's a little bit of wiggle room, I guess, inside that well. I think this one's fine, but you can definitely tell there's a little bit of the hint of a hint of a bow on this one. It's definitely not perfectly flat, but it's close. I mean, I'm talking about very nitpicky. All right, and this is a month later in 2023, October. So as I'm right now, this is August of 2024 when I'm recording this, so um, this is just a few months ago. This is probably right at the beginning of when the scandal happened. So let's see if the changes had been made to these slabs already as of... Okay, so yeah. Looks like in October, 
2023 they had made the changes to the slabs. So let's go back to November. I mean November. Let's go back to September. Okay, so this is open still. So it looks like the change was made between September and October because this one is sealed on the bottom and top. So I'm guessing they knew about this scandal sometime in November, October, uh, August or November, and then they made the changes. I don't know how long it makes it takes for them to make that change, but I, mean, I didn't know about this scandal as far as the... I'm not sure. Actually, I'd have to look at my... <laughs> when did the scandal officially start? When did, when did the public find out about it? I mean, when was the announcement made that there was a scandal? Okay, this one... This one's sitting perfectly flat, from what I can tell. And this is uh, October of 23. This is after they made the change. Early on. And when the change, you know, they beefed up the bottoms and the tops. And the sides and, I guess both sides and the tops and bottoms to make them harder to get into. Actually, it takes a drill <laughs> for me to get into these slabs now. Um, or you can tear a big piece off, which I don't like to do because splinters fly. So I made a video on how to get these slabs open if you want to check that out. Okay, so that one's fine. That's early on when they started this change or whatever. All right, here's December of 23. This one looks flat. Perfectly flat. Perfectly flat. So, good job on that one. That's actually a PC book I'm going to have to put back on the wall. <laughs> um, okay, we're now we're in the early 2024. This is February. This one definitely has a bend in it. Um, it's lower in the middle and higher on that top and bottom. So it's kind of like this direction. Once again. It's a little banana. And this one's pretty significant. This is worse than any of the ones I've seen so far. And I can see where it's caused these ticks to be emphasized right here. So this is probably what a lot of you are looking at when you look at these, how it's damaging books potentially. Yeah, this is definitely in the unacceptable range here. I would definitely want to be wanting to send this one back for press and reholdering. So that's two good ones and one bad one in the new batches. Um, so we're at... April of 2024 now. This one has a subtle little curve to it, but very subtle. I would say this is in the acceptable range. I mean, I'm very, 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 very subtle. If at all, it could just be my eyes. It's so subtle that I might be mistaken. I'm looking at where the bottom um, edge of the well is, and it's a little bit high on this one. It's not down near the, the seam, the crack, or whatever, where it normally is I've seen on other slabs. And this one is seems to be in the right spot. So I think it's this the, the well is a little bit high on the bottom on this one. And it's caused a slight little curve to the well. And I don't think it's really affecting the book, though. I could be mistaken. If it is, it's very subtle. So that one I would probably be accept would accept. Now the fact that there's ever any kind of bend in these books or wells, that's overall that's unacceptable. There should I don't buy that there should be an acceptable range for that. I think they should be perfectly flat. They've got to find a way to get that perfectly flat. Surely smart people can get together and figure out how to make that perfectly flat inside there. This one um, is June of 2024. Okay, this one again is, is not as bad as the worst one I've seen, but it's definitely high on the bottom. Definitely high down here. And uh, you can see there's a slight bend to the book because of it. I can definitely see it right there. There's a little bend to the book. So this one has definitely bent the book a little bit. And I can see it when I do this. I can see the waviness right here on the spine. So this, once again, is unacceptable. I would want to send this back again for press and reholder. Not good. It's not, it's not like... I don't think it's damaged the book permanently, but it's certainly damaged the book slightly. If, even if it's temporary, it's not acceptable. And you think if that stays in there for 20 years, it might become more permanent, you know. Books that have had defects for a long time tend to retain those defects. Okay, here we got July of 2024. This is just last month. Yeah, this one is as bad as the other one. Um, you can definitely see a curve. 
yeah, not good. Um, so this one I would send back as well for a reholder. If I wasn't cracking this one already, now I bought this book from somebody else. Oh, man, I just, when I buy books, I'm normally buying them to crack lately. So I don't even really look at that when I get it in. And I haven't really noticed it on my books. I'm going to have to go through all the books I've gotten in the last few months and just check them out here. What happens if you find something that like that's pretty subtle but unacceptable from three months ago? Do they can accept a reholder on that? Okay, now these are the latest two books I've gotten in. Uh, these were graded on August 13th, about a week ago. Let's see what we got. Yeah, it's there. Um, that curve is, <laughs> there is a curve on this book. I would say that's in the acceptable range. There's a definite curve on that book. It's high here, maybe high here, and curves down the middle. That is pretty frustrating. I'm just going to tap it lightly here, see if that can make it look any better. Nope, that does not look any better. Yeah, man. Uh, now, I don't see where it's causing any kind of waviness. Maybe a slight little hint of some waves there. But this book was pretty tight. This book actually had as a, a borderline 9.9. Now, that's not acceptable. This one is definitely... Probably have to send that one back uh, for a reholder. All right, last one. This is graded also this month. I'm not sure if it was the same submission as that one or a different one. It probably was, though. Same submission, I think. Um, so let's look. This one ha is slightly high on the bottom, but I would say this is more in the acceptable range. The book looks like it's actually pretty flat. It's better than the last one. This might be a little thicker cardstock than the last books, though. This book was pretty perfect, too. I don't see any kind of waviness or anything. So this is actually very subtly bent, if that's a word, subtly has a subtle bend to it, but it's, I would say this is in the, man, we're speaking relative to CGC terms here. By Probably by CGC standards, this would be acceptable. But once again, there should be no allowance for any kind of bend <laughs> to a book that we've sent off to a grader. That's not acceptable. And just to, just to take a look here, I've got a CBCS. I think this is a pretty CBC, recent CBCS slab. Let's see how they're doing. Now this is hard to see in the side. Next, I'm at the wrong end again. Oh man, it's their their slabs are hard to see into. Um, man, <laughs> I cannot see in there. Okay, if you look carefully, you can see it. Yeah, this book is perfectly flat in there. This looks a lot more substantial overall. I'm not trying to advertise for CBCS here, but. Yeah, from here, yeah, this book is in here very nicely. Perfectly flat. Yeah, this looks good. So based on a sample of one from CBCS here, they definitely do an infinitely better job with the inner wells. All right, this is not good. Um, you got to do something about this, CGC. I don't care if you got to stop grading books for a month and fix this issue. And you need to be taking these reholders back and not sending them back as acceptable. People need to start getting some credits. You need to give people their money back when this happens if they want that option. Send them back the raw books. Offer to pay their CBCS fees. You got to make this right. This this ain't good, man. <laughs> um, I'm hesitant to send any more books in to CGC right now. This has been an ongoing issue though. We've seen books from years ago that had slight issues. So this is not a new thing, but it just might be worse because of the way they've changed their slabs. Something to do with the heating process, who knows? But there's definitely not enough room in there for these. Either they're not being put in correctly, the wells. I don't know what the process for doing that is. Maybe you should show us that CGC. Why don't you do a video on your Instagram or wherever? You should have a process and transparency on how this is done. You gotta show us how you're fixing this. Because who out there is gonna wanna send their books in and come back with bent books? I mean, that's. That's un I mean, what the heck, man? <laughs> really? You're bending books? That's what you're doing now? <sighs> okay, well, maybe I'll do a follow-up on this one at some point. 
If I learned any more new information, if you've got information on this, post it in the comments. Do you think it's acceptable for there to even be a slightest hint of a millimeter bend to the inner well in your books? Is there an acceptable range for this? Am I just way off base here? Or should we be paying for books that are perfectly preserved and flat? Right? That, that's what I would think. Okay. So I'm not going to go off on a rant here. It's still early on. I'm still kind of I'm in shock and absorbing this. I'm going to make a couple calls, emails, whatever I can do to get through to CGC and ask them these questions. I think a lot of people are doing that already, though. So if you've done that, let me know in the comments. Okay. Stay hurting. I'll see you in the next video.